you're talking about race in 1850, you're talking about race now. Um, America and most countries are still pretty racist. Uh, so you don't have to push the parallels. I mean, one example is between slave patrollers, the police force uh, during slavery, they could stop any black person and, and demand to see their papers. And the language uh, that memoirists of the time uh, in slave narratives would use to describe being stopped and frisked is the same, la same language I would use uh, when I've been stopped and frisked by white officers. And so that continuum of humiliation uh, persists and doesn't really need me to push the comparisons. And you have two children. Did writing the book affect how you want to explain the world now, or the history of slavery, but also the problems with race in America today? Yeah, well, you know, they're, they're so young, and uh, I don't want to push my books on them. They might, hopefully, they'll read, they'll read them one day. Uh, but uh, in, in this book and other books of mine, I am, uh, you know, there's so much of me in there, and so they'll get, they'll get my understanding of the world through some of the more comedic books and some of the more tragic books. And so over the time, they do end up being a letter to my children.